Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another one. We're gonna take you guys along. So, first things first, we got some deliveries to make, and we're gonna take this beautiful 389 to do it. You ready to go, bye-bye? Hmm? You ready to go? You're excited, huh? Yeah. Her's excited. Uh-huh. Oh, you gotta get in your seat. You gotta get in your seat. Guys, meet Holly. Um, but you probably seen her by now in some of the videos. Go make some deliveries, Howie. Let's see if we can get pulled out of here. Let's go make some deliveries. Well, I hope you guys had a great weekend and a great Mother's Day. Kept the wheels a turning if you're out there on the road. I know it sucks to miss Mother's Day and miss holidays, but. It does have to, it does happen sometimes. Crack those windows or we can hear that turbo sing a little bit. Disc brakes and they're a little bit different, but for some reason they just don't feel um, like you gotta 
hit them a little hard. I don't know. It's kind of weird. There's Mistol. So this is what we call the industrial park. Most industrial parks you find big buildings and stuff. This one here don't really have anything other than you got Terrasport trailers, which is where both most of my boat trailers are built right here local in town. They're a really good company to deal with. We've got quite a few Terrasports. And we're getting stocked up on Waltrons and um, ship sheets and this trailer that I'm pulling to the Terrasport. Size of Holly, 
and uh, she was a rescue dog out of Michigan. And I picked her up in Michigan. I was going to give her to my sister. And on the way home, we just fell in love with each other. And I had her, every, you know, I had her for probably five or six years. But that was my baby. I loved that girl so much. And uh, she got sick one night and uh, passed away on us. But, so I hadn't really had a little dog since. Because I get attached to them and I want them in the truck with me. And I just give that up. But Ollie does pretty good. So I think she's going to be a good little truck dog.
off and go. That's it. All right, guys, so the plan here is they're going to move those boats. I'm going to pull up into here, I'm going to back over there, and then I'm going to make the swing back out and then back it in. Fixed our boat actually, the bass boat. Oh, these are the people That's, that did these it. These are the people that had the vexes. Yamaha, how you like Yamaha? Seems like a lot of boats are getting them these days. I know it, that's insane. Look at that, they 
Ain't done got it lifted up. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, let's get up here out of the way. I guess I could go ahead and tell you guys what the deal is with these things. So we live in a small town. We got TWRA around here, which controls our waters and all that stuff. And um, I mean, it is what it is. These are the new TWRA boats. So it might not be a good year to have be on the water because they're gonna have to pay for these things. And I'm sure that uh, they are gonna be giving some tickets out for sure. All right, we're ready to rumble guys. Look at you all official and I know. getting all bonded and licensed. I'm already bonded. I'm getting sealed. So that means you'll be able to, instead of us having to call, wait for a notary and all that stuff. You'll be able to... Yeah, and um, somebody made a comment the other day that notaries are really hard to come by. Like They actually make really good money. They travel to you and you get paid via time. Which I don't plan on doing. I was just wanted to make my life easier. Yeah, because it's sacred. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. My thing is, I wouldn't want to do that full time. Like, if you see my journal, my notary journal, the information you have to take, like, I don't want to do it if I needed to. Honey, look at that parallel parking. You did good. I'm proud. I backed it in there. It good. Heck yeah, boys. Almost as good as if I would have done it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. A lot better now. She is spoiled. Yeah. This is the most spoiled animal. <laughs> Guys, we just got a call. We may have an engine down. Um, it's not one of ours. It's a friend of mine that we uh, work with. One of our fellow friend cattle haulers. So I may have to go on a rescue mission. Where's that? Um, right now. He's trying to make it back to Knoxville. Um, almost to Knoxville, but the trailer's got to be picked up and brought back because the truck's got to go to SH2 Mormon. Even though we don't have time to work on it, but we can't leave somebody stranded. Deliver it to my Hollywood bug. Business. So we're gonna go drop this baby off. I picked it up at the auction and it's a 16 model with 20,000 miles on it. I gotta drop the trailer off at the trailer shop. See if they can figure out this ABS because my reader is not helping me with it.
dealers up here that buy cars. And I mean, you can pretty much call them anytime and tell them, hey, I got a low mileage one for this price or that price. Or you can put it on Marketplace or um, I used to do it on Craigslist a lot. I work, I love Craigslist. That was my favorite thing for years. But you can, uh, you know, it's pretty easy. You've got to have some money set aside to be able to do it, but. Once I got into the car auction stuff though, Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Um, when the 6.0s and the 6.4 trucks were pretty big on uh, auctions, you never knew. You'd go buy a 6.0 truck and, and when you got there to get it, you never know if it's going to run or not. It was iffy. Bad boy. Thank goodness it starts. Thing's actually pretty nice. Definitely a clean one. All right, deal sealed, boys. Got us a check. I like it when they work like that. Now, let's go drop his trailer. Of all the profit I'm gonna make on this deal, is uh, you probably have to pay to get this ABS fixed. And I had, uh, I just noticed this before I left. But this is a new trailer. I just bought this trailer and it was immaculate, it was perfect. It's only been on like four trips. And you got it right there. 
which it's had to be for a while because the paint is uh, like it's rusted up pretty bad. So, shoot, I don't know. These things rust pretty fast. This is a 23 model trailer, 22 or 23 model trailer, and it's already rusting up pretty good. All right, guys, she is secured and delivered. Let's go drop this trailer off. Hopefully we can get it fixed. I'll probably take the truck by the truck wash while I'm up here. Oh, we made it. We made it to the Knox trailer location. I wonder if anybody's here. So I used to, when I'd come here, I'd take this hang rail back and back it in, but um, I learned my lesson not to do that. And actually, it got me some brand new doors on my reefer. So I went back there one time to pick up my reefer, is up here getting alignment and bushings put in it, there's a spread axle, and went back there to get it, and they come back there, and I mean, they were irate. They're like, no, 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 you can't do that. So they send their guy back there with the uh, yard truck and he didn't close the doors on the trailer and he pulled out and ripped them off. So they had to put a brand new set of doors on my um, spread axle, which it needed anyway. I mean, it, it didn't need them, but it could have used some. I mean, they were working just fine, but they were getting older. And, uh, but they made it right. They put brand spanking new doors on my trailer. So usually when I'm here, I'll just dump it off right here and let them deal with it. Dang, that's the kind of trailer I need right there. That's a tilt deck gooseneck. So, come on, Holly Bear. You gonna go potty? Come on, Holly Bear. So, I this wagon. Without a doubt, sure that I can go through the Knoxville scales on the way home, and they're not going to give me an inspection, even though I want one. And I don't go through those scales. I usually run down 411, since it's closer to go back to the house that way anyway. are done pretty productive day I gotta get home and do some dispatching but we should uh, we're gonna ride it through the scales right here in Knoxville and see if we can't get a good inspection real quick guys I love this job I just love it it's nice to be feeling good and being in the truck doing our thing. This is how our business was built, is just working our butts off and making good deals, good decisions. I know sometimes I get out in left field and do some crazy things, but for the most part, I really just enjoy driving these old trucks. Anytime I've ever got caught over there in that scale, 
I've been asked about why I'm going that way, I just tell them, you know, hey, I live over here. When we were hauling potatoes, home was right in the middle of where we picked up and where we delivered. We'd pick up usually in Michigan, Indiana, places like that, and then go back home, do our 10 hour break at home, and then uh, go on and deliver our potatoes. Well, we'd run 411 from Knoxville to the house, and then from the house to Atlanta and then on down to Florida after the scales closed down. Back in them days we didn't have the best equipment and uh, we definitely didn't want to play with the scale houses too much.
rig in the house and say you had a good productive day. That's that's what it's all about, boys. Having a good time, deliver some load, keep this world a turning. I'm gonna go fire up the old water hose and give this thing a bath and call it a day. And give her a good bath. Give her a good bath. This stuff's awesome. So you can get this thing actually at the uh, O'Reilly's. And it actually works good. This is my second one. You like it? Yeah, I do like it. It also comes with one of them scrub brushes if you want to go grab it and use it. <laughs> <laughs> this thing. I hate getting this thing dirty, but got to work. Oh, she's starting to look good, girl. Just a quick little bath after working. Never hurts an old truck. If you want to keep them nice, I mean, I probably got about 45 minutes to an hour into really, which I went through and hand washed the whole thing, but usually just to spray it off with the foam and then and then rinse it off it does a, a lot of justice for it and then hitting your suspension stuff like that gets all the grease yeah. keeps it all off of it and so tomorrow i got some more loads to do it'll be clean finish this thing up you guys see me wash the truck before so i appreciate you riding along with me today going and making those deliveries and hanging out i love you guys and i'll see you on the next video